This is video 28.1. We will be studying the photoelectric effect. The question. Light is shined on a sodium surface with a work function of 2.42 electron volts. Recall that the work function is the amount of energy needed to eject a single electron. We'd like to know what are the energy and speed of the ejected photoelectrons if the incident light has a wavelength of 400 nanometers and if the incident light has a wavelength of 550 nanometers. First, we'll calculate the energy of the 400 nanometer photon. The energy of a photon is equal to HF, where H is Planck's constant and F is the frequency. This can also be written HC over lambda, where C is the speed of light and lambda is the wavelength. This is the case because frequency times wavelength is equal to speed. We rearrange for frequency, we obtain this result. So we can plug in what we know the constants, and 400 nanometers in the denominator. And we obtain a value for the energy of the photon. Now let's calculate the energy of the elect ejected electron. The work function, the energy needed to release the photoelectron, has this value. It was given to us in electron volts. And an electron volt is a unit of energy. It's the amount of kinetic energy that an electron would have if it's accelerated by one volt potential difference. We want to convert this to joules to compare it to the above result. This is the conversion factor. And this is the energy in joules. So the energy of the electron, the kinetic energy, after it's released, is equal to the energy of the photon minus the work function. This basically comes from the conservation of energy. A certain amount of energy has to be given up to the sodium surface, and this is the work function. Then we have the energy of the incident photon, and anything that's left over becomes kinetic energy for the ejected electron. So we take the difference and we obtain our result for the energy. Now let's use this to find the speed of the ejected electron. We simply equate its energy to the formula for kinetic energy. We can look up the value for the mass of the electron. It's pretty small. And units of kilograms, it looks like a very small number. And then we plug in everything that we know. And we rearrange to solve for V. So multiply both sides by two, divide by the mass of the electron, and take the square root. This gives us a speed of 4.91 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. Now let's repeat the same calculation for the 550 nanometer photon. Remember, longer wavelength means lower energy, so this is a lower energy photon. We'll calculate its energy in the same way we did on the previous slide. and we obtain this value. We recall that the work function was 3.87 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And because the energy of the incident photon is less than the work function, no electron is ejected. It doesn't matter how many photons there are incident on the surface. There could be a billion, but if they all of the individual photons have an energy that's less than the work function, then not a single photoelectron 
will be ejected from the surface. And that concludes video 28.1. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.